Hello viewers, how are you all? Today I'll be conducting a video on functional English. What is functional English? Actually the English language which is used in functional sense means in communication is called functional English. Functional senses use mainly communicational use like listening, speaking, reading, writing. Focus on the practical use of the English language generally in your routine life. So this is basically communication in English. Number one is reading. Reading, what comes in reading? Read and understand simple text in English. Answer simple comprehension questions. And match sentences about texts. Reconstruct text by reordering sentences. Understand the main idea of a text. Identify specific information in the text. The six actually the all essence of reading. Next is listening. Listening is very important. Actually, listen for specific information. For example, personal information. Answer simple questions on informational text. Match information with speaker. Listen for pronunciation and intonation. I did example years and dates from listening text. Listen to complete sentence. So, listening is one of the most important thing in your communication. Writing. Writing is also an important component. It completes the forms. Write well structured, simple sentences. Write simple text about familiar topics. Use simple conjunctions. Use punctuations and capitalization correctly in simple sentences. Speaking and communication, like greetings, introductions, Make conversation in familiar situations, for example, cafe, chatting about weekend. Ask and respond to simple questions with modeling. Describe things. Talk about past and future events. These all things come under speaking or communication. First of all, we should know that English has part of speeches. And there are eight part of speeches. Noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. Now, I let you know these in detail with example. Noun. Noun is the name of a person, place, Think or idea. For example, woman, Montana, pen, sadness. A noun often appears after an article, such as the a uh, or n in a sentence. Noun can also be singular or plural and can function differently within one sentence. For example, the young man gave me a rare gift from Montana and then calmly told me he valued happiness above all else. In this sentence, the nouns are men, gift, Montana and happiness. Now you can see these nouns, people, places, things. 
Here you can see what actually nouns are in the form of a picture. They are common nouns, they are proper nouns and you can see the difference between a common and a proper noun. Common noun is like butterfly, caterpillar, hat, orange, mango, bread, pure cheese, cat, chair and car etc etc means they are just common in common like elephant what type of elephant no it's not describing now what is proper noun the difference in proper noun is a proper noun is a spatial name that names a particular person place or thing like boy the name is roy the place Adam town and then sunset palace otherwise we can say a simple palace is a common noun but sunset palace is a proper noun a proper noun can be made up of more than one word and a proper noun always begin with the capital letter adjective adjective describes or it modifies a noun or a pronoun for example cute new red strong an adjective will answer the questions which one what kind or how many keep it in mind articles such as a and the are classified as adjectives a and the these are the articles for adjectives for example the young man gave me a rare gift from Montana and the Camly told me he valued happiness above all else. In the sentence, the adjectives are young and rare. Young and rare are the adjectives. You can see other adjectives too here. Bitter, cuddly, deafening, indigo. Verb describes or modifies a verb, an adjective or another adverb. However, the adverbs never modify a noun. Adverb usually ends in a y. For example, calmly, deeply, carefully, clearly. So it ends in l y. In the example, a rare gift from Montana, and then calmly told me he valued happiness above all else. The adverb is calmly. It ends. L Y. So remember, the adverbs end with L Y. Here is calmly. The preposition and the conjunction in a sentence are the smaller terms that frame the main part of the sentence. The noun, the verb, and the adjective. So. A pronoun is a word that is used instead of a noun in a sentence. For example, she, her, we, they, it. In the example sentence, the young man gave me a rare gift from Montana and then calmly told me he valued happiness above all else. The pronouns are and he. He replaces men in the sentence. A preposition appears before a noun or a pronoun. It will modify the noun or the pronoun in a sentence. For example, by, with, without, about, until, from. In the example sentence, the young man gave me a rare gift from Montana and then calmly told me he valued happiness above all. Else, the preposition in the sentence is from. So remember... From is a preposition in this sentence. Function connects words, phrases or clauses. It also tells the reader about the relationship between two words, phrases or a paragraph. For example, and, but, or, because, although. In the example sentence, the young man gave me a rare gift from Montana and then calmly told me he valued happiness above all else. The conjunction is then. Then is a conjunction in this sentence. Now some coordinating conjunction. 
for and nor yet so or but one thing more is the determiners the first word in noun phrases that act in a way that limits or quantifies the noun article such as a n and the as well as words like many some or two are what determines if the noun is specific or general determiners in english you can see in this short you can go through it and you can understand more the types of determinants articles possessives demonstratives they are also mentioned over here in articles a and b possessives my your his her its are there and whose demonstratives this that these those these are the types of determinants minus one more thing i would like to tell you that the nouns answer the question like who and what adjectives answer the question what kind which and how many verbs answer the question what is it doing adverbs answer the question how when where and why adverb describes a verb adjective or adverb like quickly silently well badly very really pronoun replaces a noun i you he she some preposition links a noun to another verb to at after on but conjunction join clauses or sentences or words and but when in the short you can go through what is adverb so learn it read it and remember it about adverb here are the verbs nouns adjectives and the adverbs for example if we are using a verb act when it is a noun it's action when is adjective it's active and when it is adverb it's actively like i told you it ends in l y the adverbs for example another example for is verb the noun of form is firmness adjective of form is firm and the adverb is firmly you can see so many examples in this chart which will exactly let you know that the same word like is for chair in verb what it is the chair in noun is cheerfulness the adjective for chair is cheerful and adverb is cheerful so so from this chart and there are many other charts you can search it on youtube as well from where you can see that the word known like i said for differ verb so what will be the noun of differ it will be difference and same the differ adjective will be different and the adverb will be differently so you can have so many examples you can learn at least 5 to 10 verbs nouns adjectives adverbs daily and increase your vocabulary then interjections words that are used to express like surprise or shock or disappointment they are the words that are thrust or push into the middle of the sentence hence interjected so i'll tell you what are the types of interjections means your feelings or shock or disappointments for example interjection for greeting interjection for joy interjection for approval 
interjection for surprise interjection for sorrow or sadness wow the dress she bought for graduation looks beautiful oh no i forgot that i have an exam today yeah the food he made taste is disgusting yeah i finally got the school i wanted now you can see different emotions in the sentences feeling happiness sad shocking some more examples of interjections like oh uh hmm ouch yak yeah yak yeah. oh so viewers before ending today's functional english first video I would like to recap quickly that how many parts of speeches are there? There are eight: noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction, and interjection. And the components are reading, listening, writing, communication. So, viewers, this is not the end of our the topic that is the functional English. videos will be coming up with more different in details in near future hope you will like our channel and i request you to kindly subscribe our channel that is beautiful lifestyle by farzana it fun and if you like it please share it give comments take care allah hafiz pakistan zindabad